guys, today we're building this tiny house in Bloxburg. I obviously chose this photo because it looks so interesting. This part is a triangle. And the fact that this whole thing is also made out of glass windows, privacy is not gonna be too great, but who cares? You got the aesthetics going on. Also, we literally have this light in Bloxburg, no joke. And then we have this little bump out next to this triangle. I kind of feel that maybe this is a kitchen and bathroom. Obviously, you can see where the living room and the bedroom is. <laughs> to build this, we're gonna first make the triangle. But I don't think using walls is a really good idea. This is what it would look like if you just only use slanted roofs and walls. The windows would look bumpy and not even because of the slanted roofs. Like you cannot place any windows on slanted roofs, which basically means that we're gonna have to use basic shapes for this triangular bit. I'm actually kind of nervous because I don't normally use basic shapes to create a house. This would be like, I think my first time. This very tall square shape is supposed to be like a roof. If you tilt it like this, do the same over here, we can slowly create that triangular shape. And then we're also gonna use this horizontal wedge to create those huge glass windows. Or at least we're gonna try. I want them to mesh into each other in a smooth sort of way. We're just gonna keep doing this until they meet at the very top. This is taking me 10 million years. Come on, meet at the top. Oh, seriously? There's this like tiny little empty space. <laughs> I gotta resize them just a little bit. Yes, that looks like a triangle. Let's try to bring this all the way up. Now I gotta resize it. This is getting confusing for me. You can tell I don't work with these sorts of basic shapes very often. I pretty much only use basic shapes to like create stairs. How are you meant to use this? I'm so confused. It's just the arrows that are confusing me. Oh, that made it super thick. I am not getting any progress. <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna try to do this little glass bit using a normal cube. Where is the door on this house, by the way? I didn't even think of that. What if this very middle part is a massive glass door? Like this one, the sleek pivoting glass door, but it's not wide enough. I want it to like fill up the whole wall. Well, this door fills up the whole wall, but it's got a very thick border. I don't think we can complain though. I think that's the best we can get. Wait, I can just place it like right here. I don't have to use the transform tool every single time. Just copy and just put it on top. I think we have enough space for the living room and then up here for the bedroom. And then we're gonna create a little extension. What I'm thinking of doing is that these basic shapes are gonna be recolored like a wall color, maybe like quill gray. And the thing is, is when you recolor a basic shape, the color goes onto both sides of it. But as you can see in this photo, the two sides have two different colors. This little outer bit is like more like a roof color. It looks like wood, to be honest. And the inner part looks like a regular good old wall color. And I think the only way I can sort of recreate that is by making this thicker basic shape that we're gonna glue on top of this other basic shape. <laughs> basic shape, basic shape. I think this whole house is basic shape. I'm pretty sure it's like wood tile on it. Another reason why I want to glue this shape onto this one is because I think it'll make my life easier with the glass because I'm really having a hard time with that. I really want these windows to work out well for me. <laughs> I keep grabbing the semi-transparent cube and then I resize it so it doesn't show. The only downside to doing this is that yeah you see like these little cuts but it's okay. Oh wait you can't see those weird lines from here. Not as much as you can see them from up here. These lines from the basic shapes are actually looking kind of cool. Like it's making it look futuristic. I'm gonna try to create this framed bit and I'm gonna do it using a structural. I should use the square beam probably. Why won't you let me place it? Why is it too low? Why did you rotate? Bruh. Oh my god, this is so annoying. <laughs> Finally, I placed it. Now I gotta do it over here as well. Gotta find that sweet spot. Okay, there. That was so annoying. <laughs> Let's just make it go all the way down. Now I think I'm gonna use the standard square beam and I'm gonna make it go all the way up here. Oh no. I think I gotta repeat the same glass thing on this side. It looks like I don't have to repeat the glass windows for this bottom floor at the back but at the top I do. So I think for this little bit here, I'm just gonna grab a cube, rotate it like this up until this point. I'm putting a wall just so I remember and I'm gonna do it over on this side as well. I love how seamlessly these just blend into each other. There's like three basic shapes here. Unlike these semi-transparent cubes that do not blend so seamlessly. Now I'm gonna add the windows over on this side. I gotta repeat the exact same process. Oh wait, that was easy. I literally just copy pasted. I just gotta resize like a couple of them but for the most part, it's okay. I thought this would take me a minute. Let me just add the beam make it look like a framed window. So over in the center of it, it just like creates a cross sort of pattern. Gonna put another beam right here. Gonna yoink this other beam. And we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did at the front. Put it all the way up. Do it also on this side. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now that we've finished the hardest part of this house, which is basically the triangle, we're gonna go on over here and try to create this little bump out. I don't think this should be too hard. I mean, we just gotta place a wall at the end of the day, right? I made it bump out by four, five-ish blocks. We might have to use basic shapes on these little spots. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How are you gonna enter? Oh, no. <laughs> I need to create the door entrance. It's only gonna take a quick minute. Okay, I managed. <laughs> it took me forever to fix this up. We have a couple of finishing touches. And that is first putting a roof on this. Oh, no, I'm just realizing. <laughs> 
<laughs> that this might be a problem again for our shape. No. <laughs> oh, I want a flat roof. No. It's going to clip into the triangle. We don't want that. How else am I meant to do the flat roof though? Oh, wait. What am I saying? Obviously a basic shape. This whole house is basically basic shape. Basically basic shapes. The flat roof on this thing sort of overhangs over this little balcony. Because yeah, it's got a balcony. I'm going to color it roof tile and make it black. Do the same thing over here. Oh, look, I did it. The roof is complete. Is this a door? Because I kind of feel like it's the same door that we used on the ground floor. Otherwise, how do you even get to your balcony? Also, let me just quickly talk about how this balcony fence abruptly ends right here. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I gotta create this thing. I just realized this. I think it just provides like more stable foundation. So you don't fall over on this? I don't know. I don't understand architecture. <laughs> I'm like the master at describing stuff. I added this little foundation thing. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call it, a foundation. We're gonna put the door right here so you enter your balcony. It wouldn't hurt to have a little modern window like in this spot, resized to be larger. I think that's it for recreating the exterior. Here is the photo and here is Bloxburg. Anyways, let's go on into the interior. Now it's gonna be a little hard to work with because when I press the button to hide the roof, the roof does not really hide because it's made out of basic shapes. I think one of the first things we should do is add a type of flooring. For this spot up here, I chose marble because this is probably going to be the kitchen or bathroom. For the rest of this, I'm not really sure what floor to use. I'm very tempted to use the vertical planks though because they're very cute. I'm a little nervous about the placement because you can see there's these tiny little gaps of grass. If I place these floors outside, how much do they show up? I don't want to get rid of this. I like the look of it. I feel like it makes this look a little bit more unique. We sorted out the floors. I obviously cannot add wall trim to this, but I added wall trim to this room. So that's going for us. What the heck is that? I don't know what kind of style this is. It's kind of like a cabin, right? I'm literally using these lights just for the sake of using them because I saw them in the photo. <laughs> these are the lights in the photo and these are the ones in Bloxburg. For the rest of the lights, I think I'm gonna use like floor lamps and I really wanna do like a cabin sort of style. So I'm gonna use wooden floor lamps like this one. It's made out of wood. It also gives us like a really good amount of light. I think the house for the most part is gonna be an open floor plan. So downstairs, I'm thinking it's gonna be the living room and the kitchen. And for upstairs, I want this to be the bedroom and this the bathroom. I guess let's just start off here and quickly make an entry. Way. So use the primal end table, put your car keys on top. I know that I said like cabin style and I am trying to do cabin style, but marble with these planks looks so good. So I'm kind of using a little bit of marble. It's so pretty. A little umbrella stand right here. And we're going to use the tripod hat stand because we're also using the tripod floor lamp. I like how I'm just staring at myself like, hey, I just realized that we also can't really use like paintings on the walls because they won't go on the walls. If we want to put paintings, we need to use a painting stand. If we want to put a mirror, we're going to have to use like a floor mirror. I want to use the oversized floor mirror. Mirror. This is definitely my favorite. And then we're gonna yoink this potted floor plant, put it over here. I think that's gonna be the entryway. And then you're gonna enter the living room. I love open floor plants because it's like, oh, this is the room and here's the other room. <laughs> I really wanna use this curved sofa. I think it's super pretty. I'm trying to be careful with the placement because I know that on this wall, I want a bunch of kitchen counters. I could use the quadratic console table and double up on it. And now we're gonna grab this pixel view TV because I'm feeling luxurious. So let's grab the log coffee table. I feel like I'm a little bit inconsistent with what's style is going on here. It's okay. We're just having some fun. Now we're gonna put a little tray on the table and I'm gonna put two candles like this. Some roses in the middle, even though they block the TV. <laughs> Let me put it here and another one over here. Looks very romantic. I don't want to go too crazy decorating, so I'm just gonna add a couple of books. And I think the last thing we need for this living room is basically a carpet. Grab another one and make it smaller. And that's the living room. Now we're gonna move on over here to the kitchen. I have a vision for this kitchen. I want two counters there and I really, really want an island right here. And this is gonna be like the dining area. They seem to be fitting pretty okay. Grab the fridge cabinet. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Kind of panicking a little bit. Push this over here. I could totally have another counter like right underneath the stairs. I mean, it's uncomfortable, but on the bright side, we're able to fit a stove like this one. The kitchen is clipping through the back. We obviously cannot put any more cabinets. This is the only cabinets we have, but maybe I could put a modern hood. I can't put the glass hood because it's going through the stairs. Why you gotta do me like that? We can use this hood though. Look at that. No clipping. Perfect. It's floating though. You know what? Maybe no no hood. <laughs> Maybe we don't have that luxury in this house. I think it's a fine sacrifice considering the house you get to live in. I think I'm gonna put the sink over underneath the stairs and then I'm gonna put the rest of the appliances over in this corner. So our toaster, coffee maker, and the blender. And then we could totally just place some of these stools right here. I think I'm gonna put three. One, two, three placemats. Gonna make them green. I don't even know why. I think because cabin is up in the woods and the woods have trees and the trees have leaves and the leaves are green. <laughs> I like the kitchen area. Now we're gonna move on upstairs to the bedroom. Grab the curved double bed. I really want
want you to like be able to lay down and see this view, but I don't know how I'm gonna go about that. Maybe I can try to make this look architecturally interesting. <laughs> I put another wall up here. Is there gonna be, yeah, there's gonna be clipping. Never mind. a little too ambitious. I don't know what I'm doing with these pillows. <laughs> the pillows are not speaking to me. They're not saying what they want. Okay, grab a comforter, put it on top of the bed. And since we got this wall behind us, finally, it means I can actually put a painting. So I wanna put this fancy one. This wall is really empty. And I think maybe putting a dresser right here could be smart. I feel like that looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna lightly decorate it by adding the standard photo frame. I really wanna put the alpaca here. Look at it, it belongs in this spot. It needs to be here. And I think for this large area, we'd be able to fit a desk. Let's grab the quadratic one, grab the stylish chair, put it right here. Wait, I can put things on these walls? It's letting me put the clock. <gasps> no way, no way. I need to test this out. You can actually put paintings on these. I thought you wouldn't be able to because it's all tilted. I didn't expect them to look so awesome. I can put the shelves. Okay, they look weird. <laughs> like, how can you put books in there? No, no, that doesn't make any sense. This is defying gravity. I'm not gonna allow this. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just put a floor plant here. Back to the desk. I wanna give them a very pretty computer. Yes, this one. Do you guys have a monitor? <laughs> That's not a computer. That's not a computer. This is a computer. And it looks like it's about to fall off the desk. <laughs> I feel like nobody has these radios anymore. They're like really old, but this person has it. And we're also gonna give them a cute little succulent. I'm literally gonna use this cubby shelving just because I wanna put a little bit more decoration. I wanna put it side to side from the desk, put like a moisturizer in there, just like beauty products, honestly. Oh, here's a pen cup, some more photo frames, hairspray. Sure, I'm gonna put it up here. This little mirror right in the spot. Can I put a mirror on this basic shape? I'm pretty sure I can. Wow, that looks so cool. I want to put it in the center here, but it won't let me. Makeup powder, protein powder, a couple of slippers, the hair gel, a photo of Coeptus. Where am I going to put it? <gasps> put the photo of Coeptus on the window. I also want to put the, like a poster. It's such a cool vibe. Wait, wait, let's move the photo of Coeptus. Sorry, Coeptus. I'm going to just put it here. And a couple of sticky notes. I think it's kind of fun to put Polaroid photos or posters or even sticky notes on windows. I think that's it for decoration. I like how there's just a random protein powder. <laughs> there's like no workout room, but there's protein powder. And the last room that's left is the bathroom. I'm nervous to do this bathroom, honestly, <laughs> because I don't even know how to do it. And there's a massive door and a massive window. <laughs> you obviously need like a door to enter the bathroom. I feel like if it's just open like this, it's not very private. If you have somebody like chilling in your bedroom, they're gonna see you on the toilet. So I wanna create this wall specifically so I can put a door for your privacy. I wanna use a double door. And another reason why I wanted to do this is because I want this protein powder to make sense. So I wanna put maybe a yoga mat, a hula hoop, a meditation cushion. I don't even know. Just anything that you would have in a workout room. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is just put a shelf. Actually, I'm gonna put two. And I'm just gonna put some of the basketballs here and a soccer ball. I just feel like they would fall off the shelf. You're gonna be doing some yoga and then a ball is gonna hit you in the face. So that's our super quick workout room. Now we move on into the bathroom. <laughs> Took a second. We're gonna put the bathtub right in the center. We're gonna put our toilet here. And I want the sink to be over in front of the toilet. Some bathrooms have cabinets like this. Now this one is called a pantry cabinet, but in the bathroom, it's not used for pantry. It's like for storing stuff like your towels and your toilet paper. <laughs> I don't know what else you store in there. Oh, they fancy. They got the electric toothbrush. What if they got two of them? Oh, wow. You ain't got a flex on us like that. Two electric toothbrushes. Okay. Oh, this looks cute. Pink. But that's not the vibe of this place. We're gonna do green. Put a small little carpet. And obviously, this is our massive door that takes you to this balcony. But I wanna put something in front of it. We're just gonna put this ladder shelf. And you know what? I gotta do toilet paper. <laughs> I'm gonna put a soap here. And then another soap. And then another soap. And here is your toilet paper holder. I think that's gonna be our bathroom. I really like it. I just gotta add the decal and then we can tour. The total value of this house is 101,000. And here is the 360. This was so, so cool. I really, really like this house. Definitely one of the coolest houses I've made so far. Let's go inside. So over here is our entryway. And then this is our living room. I love open floor plans. Here is our kitchen. It's just so cool that these paintings are like slightly tilting with the wall. Moving on upstairs, we have a little dresser over here with our favorite alpaca. I love this alpaca. Right behind this wall, we have our bedroom and our little office. The office is a little weird because we got this massive mirror. <laughs> but I really wanted to put something on the wall. Moving on from here, we have a small little workout room. From here, we have our bathroom. I really like that we have this cabinet. Look at all the storage you have. It's so much. And of course, you got your essentials, your toilet, your sink, and whatnot. And here is this massive door that leads to your balcony. I love this so much. It's so cool. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I love you guys so much. Bye!